Good evening, dear friends. It's 7 p.m. and it means our festival continues. Hooray! Here is Guzel Kastina and Sergei Kastina. Good evening. Today we have an incredible teddy bears maker, a pride of teddy bears world. Today Svetlana Stacheva makes her speech. Uh, so, good evening. It's a pleasure to introduce Svetlana to our spectators. Svetlana is a very kind person. She always sends postcards from her travels to us. Here are one of them. So, Svetlana, ball is in your court now. Welcome! Meet Svetlana! Good evening to everyone. I'm Svetlana Stacheva. I'm the author of Miniature Teddies. I'll show you some of my creatures. Here we are. Patapka, the bear, 2 inches and 3. It is difficult to value the size of a bear on a picture, so I will demonstrate you a bear like this. Smarty, the bear, 2 inches and 3. This is my pride. It is a winner of competitions in Germany and Moscow. I like to introduce you a dog who became a main hero of my speech today. Let me switch on my presentation and we will see him closer. This is an exact dog you can make in my online tutorial I'll speak about later. The topic of my discussion will be the secrets of miniature toys creation. I'll share with you my six years experience. Let's get acquainted. I'm Svetlana. I'm 29. I live and work in Yekaterinburg, Russia. In 2009 I started to sew teddy bears. It became my favorite hobby and now it is even my profession. Now maybe there is someone who isn't familiar with teddy bears, so let me tell something about it. There are two main legends about how teddy bears appeared, but we are particularly interested in the year 1902. Toy bear existed earlier, they look like real bears and stand on four paws. But in 1902 a new and original way to fasten paws and the head was invented. So, pose could turn on 360 degrees. Since that time, material changed, the proportions changed, and their format as well. But the main technology, five joints to make a head and pose move, unchanged a bit. In 1780s, signature bears appeared. I have no idea about these toys till spring of 2009. I found some information occasionally. The signature bear's world was so interesting. I spent three days in the internet for information searching. It was a huge bird. So I wanted to sew a teddy bear by myself. As far as I was scared to use special materials, I cut out my first teddy bear from a Nova cord. August the 5th of 2009, I finished my first teddy. You can see him on the picture. I consider this is the day of ABC Bears Foundation. Since that time they took all my free time. Here you can see some other bears which I made in 2009. In the beginning of 2010 I wanted to sew elephants. That is my first try. I changed patterns, proportions and sizes of my elephants and I didn't stop. I studied all available materials and I attended some workshops of famous authors. Here are version number 10 and version number 11, a blue elephant of 9 inches and a grey one of 4 inches and a half. In the very beginning, when I saw the first miniature teddy bear still 6 inches, I thought it's awesome, but I would never be able to do this. But then I noticed during the dismantlement of exhibition in Moscow that my friend took all her miniature bears, put them into an empty cookie box, then in her rucksack and went home. I was so impressed, so I decided to sew a miniature. Six months later, after all tries and mistakes, I've managed to make a little elephant. Now I understand. The progress was so long because I didn't have a teacher. So it took 12 variants, a year and a half to rise from the first elephant till a final version. 
I still continue to change my patterns, materials and I attend interesting workshops. Generally I saw miniature bears. Let me show them. Classical viscose bears 3 inches. A bear 4 inches. Glasses, a French horn, sheet music, clothes and even a lollipop in his pocket. Everything is about him. Cotton like piggy, its height is 4 inches. Jack Russell the dog, height at the shoulder 1 inch, length 1 inch and a half. Often I create a mini collections of animals. There are my snowmen. In 2013 I created the sweets collection. All toys were presented as sweets. Dreamy the bear 2015 2 inches. That is a completely new personage of ABC bears. A giraffe 4 inches and a half. I have a very special feelings to this dog. For all my life I dream about a dog, but it's not possible. Collection from German exhibition, all are 4 inches. Alana Tour Bear, 2014, 2 inches. Graceful, fragile ballet dancer, 4 inches and a half. This is one of my large size walks, 6 inches and a half. But there is a bunny under a cat's head, 2 inches. I have been doing it for six years. I couldn't even imagine I achieved such results. Now my works are in Russia, Europe, America, Canada, Australia and Africa. Regularly I took part in international exhibitions in Russia and in Europe. I am a steady participant of the United States online show. I was rewarded not once during international competitions in a category miniature. I have been giving workshops about how to make a miniature since 2013 in Russia and abroad. I taught more than 100 people. Before I had no friends somewhere except my own town. Signature bears realized my dream. Now I have close friends in the whole Russia and in other countries. Thanks to that I travel a lot. For example, in 2014 I traveled for 5 months. This is how my schedule to October looks like. Despite this crazy schedule I managed to sew. When I started to make miniature toys I understood I can be very quick and sew details everywhere. It's easy in fact. All supplies I need fit in a little pencil tool organizer. You don't need a lot of stuff materials and fabrics. Stitches are so little you can make them in hands. So you see it's easy to create a miniature and you can easily to adapt to sew anywhere if you have time. For example in a restaurant where everybody is hungry and there are no forces to speak. You are thinking nothing about food and that it will be prepared for a half an hour or even more. There are lots of situations like this. A queue in a hospital or in a post office, waiting for a kid from sports section, a train, a plane, some boring meetings. It's simply nice to go in a park and saw something sitting on a bench. We'll speak later about how not to stuff miniature bears. But now I will tell you how to become more agile. Here is the worst nightmare. A pile of tools. It's so uncomfortable. I decided to make a little tool organizer to sew outside at in any moment I have. How to make an individual tool organizer for tools? Easy. We need a plastic folder for documents, 2 meters of elastic, a separable zip fastener, 1 meter, cotton bias bain, 2 meters, a piece of leather from an old jacket for example, a fabric for an external part of a tool organizer, woven interfacing, polyester fiber, layer for quilting, threads LL45, glue. Step 1. Remove a zip from the folder. Cut the folder in a half. We got two halves for our future tool organizer. Two edges are already round shaped from one side and your target is to shape to others. Cut blanks. We need two blanks for external fabric, two for 
inside fabric, four from woven interfacing and four from layers for quilting. Your gauge is a blank from the folder, but don't forget to add from each side a centimeter. Then back up an external fabric, put a double piece of a layer and stitch them with one another by running stitches. Then take a glue and stick our plastic blank to it. The same way I used to make an external piece, but I think it was extra force. I recommend you to change it on unusual muslin. In the end you'll have four blanks. Then you need to quilt all blanks. Stitch blank in a round shape from the side of a plastic. I have the simplest sewing machine, so I copy it easily. Remove stitches, cut all extra fabric from plastic, measure your tools. As soon as everything will satisfy you, take an elastic, pins and fasten an elastic from the left to the right by pins measuring your tools. Stitch an elastic. Don't worry, you will not damage nothing. The most difficult part is to start. If you want to stitch something to blanks, do it now. Stick internal and external parts of a tool organizer. Use the same glue. Stitch a zip by a whip stitch around the perimeter. The color of threads is not important. This is your result. Take a glue and bear its binding. Stick it in order to close the edges of an organizer. We stick it instead of making seam basting. Stitch it on a sewing machine from the zip side. This is how it's supposed to look like. Zip it up. I marked by a red color where I fixed a zip not to open it accidentally. Cut down uh, a lock after fixation. We don't need it anymore. Here you should connect an upper part of a zip. Cut out a middle. Measure a distance between two bar tags. Add one centimeter from each side. It is a height. Take a wide about one inch. One centimeter of four allowance. Copy it. Iron allowances. Stick on a place and stitch on sewing machine. We only need to cover this unpleasant side. We need a rectangular piece of leather, the same width as a middle, but without allowances and the width as a middle organizer's thickness. Apply some glue on the third part of a piece and cover a back side of an organizer. P push it well. Apply some glue on another edge, also a third part of a piece and cover a front side of an organizer. Pay attention, a middle part is not stuck. This is how we intended it. That is what I have. Who wants to create a miniature under my supervision? Now I'd like you to tell about my first and long-awaited step-by-step video tutorial. Four inches of happiness, so a miniature dog. This is a tutorial and it will be very useful for everyone who is interested in creation of teddies. It contains necessary information to sew a toy from the very beginning till the very end. During my work on this tutorial, I considered all my experience in giving workshops, so even beginners will manage to do that dog. For someone who is about to start sew bears, this will be an excellent beginning. It doesn't matter what size of a bear you are going to sew in the future. High-level masters could see lots of author's tricks in works with materials and tools. 4 inches is an optimal size to study. It is a miniature already, but it's not too little to understand, see and try everything. If you successfully pass this course, you will be able to make even smaller animals. And, of course, you can watch it anytime you want it on your schedule as frequently as necessary. Let me tell you the content of that course. Lesson 1. Here you'll know what materials and tools you need to create a miniature dog. And you'll understand what materials and tools you can buy cheaper. Lesson 2. We will speak 
about particularities of patterns for miniature, what kinds of materials to use for it, what to choose. You'll know some tricks from author in a walk with dark and light fabrics. In the end, the author will tell you what you need to remember before tailoring. Lesson 3. You'll know how easy and simply to imitate lock stitches by yourself. The author will tell you why she doesn't like knots and how to avoid them. You'll see how not to spend your time doing taking and so carefully. Lesson 4. An important stage. Prepare to stuff. I will tell you one of the key secrets. The result of the box depends very much on it. You'll know how to pull out miniature details not to damage a soft fabric. You'll learn what it is. A double splint of swinging bracing. Lesson 5. You will see how to achieve a good stuffing using simple tools. I'll tell you some tricks which could help you to make blind seams invisible. Lesson 6. You'll learn to fasten nose on a loop. You'll learn how to sew eyes to make a glance alive. Learn to sew ears the way they will move. Lesson 7 is dedicated to assembling. You'll see the order to sew details comfortable. I'll explain you the technique to work with metallic granulate and show how to try and sew a tail. Lesson 8. Secrets of toning by pastel. So you will have a detailed video tutorial with all steps, a pattern of a puppy and the picture in PDF how to put all patterns on a piece of fabric, lists of all shops where I regularly buy some materials to create a miniature. I'll send cards to everyone who buys that tutorial and instruction to uh, get it will come after the purchase. Usual pr its price is uh, 70 USD dollars and 60 euros. But for three days only, a special offer is valuable and you can buy it only for 49 USD dollars and 5 cents or 44 euros and 5 euro cents. A tutorial with a dog is unique. I don't give a live workshops about this dog. We'll make pigs, elephants and bears during our workshop. This is a couple of years. An elephant made during first workshops I gave you on the left picture. Parents made a present in the form of my workshop for 14 year old daughter on a birthday. On the right picture is one of recent pigs, August 2015, Moscow. This is a photo of my group from Vilnius. I'd like to say thank you to all my students, collectors, relatives, friends and admirers of my craft. It would be impossible to do such work without you. You know I love you so much. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you for being with me. Have a good evening. Goodbye. Give a storm of applause to Svetlana. A wonderful performance. Now I'm going to demonstrate you how to pay. Here is our page, banner on the left side. You can see a puppy. To buy it, press a banner. This is a page of a video, a description of lessons and so on. You can see a button, buy now. Push the button and now you are on a page of sales. You can choose PayPal or you can input your card's data, your PIN code and that is all. Tomorrow our favorite author will give a speech. A person who creates incredibly beautiful dolls from polymer clay. The doll behind me is by that author. I'm talking about Tatiana Simukova. Thank you for being with us today. Thanks everyone. We will see you tomorrow. Good night. Bye bye.